Hello, welcome. Take a moment, pause the video, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so they say here an angle theta is in standard position and its terminal side passes through this point right here. Find the exact value of the sine of theta. All right, well, first of all, let's say we have a y-axis and an x-axis, and there's some angle theta in standard position. That means it's starting on the x-axis and opening right to towards the the left as the sun rises and it, in this case it, it event it ends at a terminal side so the initial side x-axis goes around counterclockwise as the sun rises in the east sets in the west gets to a terminal side and there's a point here that is 2 negative 1 and I'm going to label this. This is our angle theta. And they want to know what is the sine of this angle. Well, if we drop this perpendicular down there, there's our right triangle, right? And we can see that to get to this point, 2, 1, we go over 2 and then down 1. So now I'm just thinking of the triangle over here. I'm going to draw it in a separate spot. It goes over 2 and down 1. And the hypotenuse, let's call it R, is the square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared, which is the square root of 1. Well, 2 squared is 4 plus negative 1 squared is 1, and that means it's the square root of 5. Now, they want to know what is the exact value of sine. That tells you it's probably an irrational answer. And you can see here the sine of theta, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so opposite, opposite over hypotenuse here and again we're using the reference angle there, is going to be negative 1 over radical 5. So that's just negative 1 over radical 5. And I think you can leave it like that. I don't think they'll accept that. It's exact. Here's the irrational number. But you can multiply top and bottom by radical 5, and you get this answer, and that's also acceptable. Um, so that's the idea. Thanks. I hope this helped.